it's simple. Just find a vampire that will drink your blood and turn you into a vampire spawn. Their obedient puppet. In theory, the next step is to drink their blood. Once you've done that, you're free. And a true vampire. People think the biggest threat to a vampire is a cleric with a stake. It's not. The biggest threat to a vampire is another vampire. They're scheming, paranoid, power-hungry beasts. So why would any vampire give up control over a spawn to create a competitor? Trust me, it doesn't happen. Yes, and no. The problem is, once you're a vampire spawn, they completely control you. They have to allow you to bite them. And why would they do that? Vampires are power-hungry creatures. They won't lose a servant to create a competitor. Trust me, it doesn't happen. Free and a true vampire, capable of creating my own coven. Yes. Although, I'd settle for just killing the bastard. I wouldn't be a true vampire, but I'd be free of him. What's to tell? I was sired by a vampire named Cazador. Everything before that is so long ago, it's ancient history. And everything that came after, well, um, I'd rather not reflect on it. I was a magistrate, working to keep the peace in Baldur's Gate, imprisoning troublemakers, that kind of thing. I can't remember much, truth be told. Centuries of torment will do that to you. I was attacked. A gang of vagrants, a tribe of wandering Gur, took issue with a ruling I'd made. They beat me to death's door when Cazador appeared. He chased them off and offered to save me, to give me eternal life. Given that my choices were eternal life or bleed to death on the street, I took him up on the offer. It was only afterwards I realized just how long eternity would be. Why do you insist on exhuming the past? I was a slave. A vampire spawn. Kept by the Tsar family. Perhaps I still am. I was never able to resist their commands. But now, I've been conveniently lost. They won't ever control me again. <laughs> 